Yes, it's Kingdom of Boxing. I just want to drop a video on the Kelbrook vs Amir Khan fight. Obviously, I'm looking forward to this one. But what can I really say that hasn't already been said out here? You know what I'm saying? On all these channels. So, yeah, it's it's a good fight. Obviously, it's a solid fight. It can go either way, no matter what. We knew this. Khan's chinny. Brooks, pff, not the same as he was. Especially at this weight, we know that for sure. He got took out by a job. Um, he's had a lot of injuries. Khan is slightly fresher. He's making the weight a lot easier. He's obviously still going to have the speed advantage. So it's like speed versus timing. But we know timing does defeat speed eventually. Timing definitely beats speed. But timing is all about timing. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not always, it's, it's, you have to work on your time. You have to work to get that. You have to work to find that shot. But who goes out in this fight? Who actually gets knocked out in this fight? Who gets stopped? I don't think it goes 12 rounds. I really don't. No chance. Like, how many times do Amir Khan fights actually go 12 rounds? They do go 12 rounds. He is a 12 round fighter. That's how he wins, by win 12 rounds. But... There's a lot of ups and downs, man. The guy gets dropped in first round, second round, third round, fourth round. <laughs> the guy gets dropped all over the place. So, I need to make a compilation of just Amir Khan getting dropped. <laughs> that would be a good video, what do you reckon? I have to find all the knockdowns, even the ones in like um, his amateurs and that. Altogether, he's probably been dropped about 20 times, Amir Khan. <laughs> That's not even exaggerating, literally. I think he's dropped, been dropped about 15, 20 times. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, as far as this fight goes on, and Kilbrook, like, obviously we know Kilbrook uh, against Crawford, he got took up by a jab. It was a very good jab. It wasn't just an ordinary jab. It was um, a lead hand jab. Right? Uh, uh, um, not a lead hand jab. It was obviously a lead hand jab, but it was an... Um, it was from the southpaw position, right? So, and Terence Crawford is actually right-handed, so it was like a... I forgot what you call it. You know what I'm saying? He's right-handed, so... It's not just a normal jab. It's like a... It's like a power punch. It is a power punch, even though it's not much distance between it. It was a good punch, and it hit him right on his eyes, so it fucked him up. So I guess maybe if Amir Khan targets Kelbrook's eyes intentionally, even though... That's hard, hard. It's just hard enough just trying to punch somebody in the face while they're fucking around and trying to hit you. So. Yeah, fucking. Kelbrook. I, I think, do you know what's the worst thing for Kelbrook? I don't think, maybe the eyes would, um, can play a factor in it, but I think the weight will play a, play a factor. Not just making the 149, but I think they've got a rehydration clause as well, which is something crazy like 159 or 58 or 55 or 50, some shit like that. Something crazy, bro. So even to hydrate back into the fight, he's going to be fucked. Hydrate after the weigh-in, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be fucked. And we know what Kelbrook looked like <laughs> in his last fight. He just looked mash up. The guy just looked fucked. He like heart a shell of himself in the... Um, at the way in at he looked like physically he looked good but in his face you could tell he was drained as fuck he looked a mess he looked old his eyes were sunken to the back of his head his cheeks were just sunken in he was just a mess we've seen what Kilbrook looked like in that especially in that just after the way in the Terence Crawford versus Kilbrook um, it was like a face off on ESPN or some shit he looked terrible so he's, not, he's going to look terrible in this fight as well. He's already looking weird. I've already seen him. He's looking like fucking... His clothes just don't fit him anymore. He's wear, the hat looks like too, too much, too big for him already. And he's just looking... He don't look like Kell Brook anymore. He just looks like some next crackhead. And he's not even nowhere near the weight yet. He's still got... How long have we got? Three, four weeks for this fight? Even longer. Maybe five weeks. Five, six weeks. I've been kind of keeping track. I'm looking forward to this fight, but... I've not been watching YouTube too much. I've just been fucking... I have been watching YouTube. I've been watching other shit as well. I've not just been watching boxing. 
So I've not been watching all my um, normal channels I normally watch, but I'm going to get back on it and uh, really get some more insight on this fight. I've not seen a lot of people drop any videos on this fight, though, really. There's a lot of people talking about Errol Spence and Terence Crawford. Obviously, when Errol Spence is ducking him, this is like, obviously, it's, it means a lot in the world to weight division. This fight, basically, a, a Khan Brook is basically a world to weight fight. Also, we've got the young and hungry show, um, Con, Connor Ben coming up. I was going to say Sean Connery then. <laughs> That's how fucked I am, man. That's how uh, we've got Connor Ben coming up, and he's looking like a he's looking like the next one to do some damage in the division. He's definitely making noise. So yeah, the World Weight Division is good, and obviously we're looking at who's gonna. That's a, that's that's one thing I really want to talk about. He's like, who's gonna fight? Um, who's gonna fight Connor Ben? Is it gonna be Brooke or is it gonna be Khan? There's a whole lot of stuff to talk about. But as far as this fight goes, as far as this fight goes, who do I think wins the fight? And should the winner fight um, Conor Ben? I don't care if it's the winner or the loser fights um, Conor Ben. I don't care. If Conor Ben can get any of them guys in the ring, get that name on his resume, that's re that's good. That's, that's perfect. It's perfect. He, he can't ask for anything more. After that, he just like certified in the UK. He's now start, start hitting the big stages. Everyone's got your backing, especially if you look good beating one of these guys. You know what I'm saying? Now, who do I think is going to win this fight? <sighs> Fucking hell. Literally, I'm just going to have to... It's like flipping a coin. Like I always said, Kel Brook will win the fight. Always. From day dot. As soon as I seen Kel Brook fight, Matthew Hatton... I think he'd beat Matthew Hatton or some shit. Dropped him like four or five times with jabs and everything. And he was just like, win, won every single round, man. I was just like, no, this guy will destroy Khan. And at the same time, I think Khan had just lost to um, Danny Garcia or Lamar Peterson or some shit like that. And since then, I was just like, no. Kell Brook would destroy this guy. Not destroy this guy, but I think Kell Brook would beat him. Kell Brook would knock him out. Kell Brook's got decent power. That's what he was for. And then after... Kilbrook beat Sean Porter. I was like, nah. Um, Kilbrook can outbox Amir Khan and he can knock him out. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I hurt um, Porter in that fight a few times. I can just imagine once he became champion, his power, his like confidence, everything's just going to be so much higher than it was when he went into fighting um, Porter. But then he got stabbed. So. It's just a fucking mad story, do you know what I mean? The Amir Khan, Kilbrook, it's, it's a good fight, it's a good fight. I know I wish they had it in the 20s, do you know what I mean? I wish, I wish, I wish. They could have been on the third fight by now, do you know what I mean? One apiece or something, or even if it was 2 0. But let's stick to my prediction, man. Let me not get sidetracked, because you know what I'm like. Now, uh, so I've always picked Kilbrook, but. There's been certain fights when I've seen Amir Khan, I'm thinking, he's, he's not as easy as everybody thinks. Yes, he gets dropped and they, everybody just remembers when somebody gets dropped. But for the rest of that 12 rounds, like when he's fought Peterson, he went life and death. He dropped Peterson a few times. He actually gave him a good fight. He wasn't like somebody walked over him. Nobody like walked over Crawford, and, I mean Khan, unless they knocked him out. And apart from like Crawford, Apart from Crawford in his last fight, and he did, he did like he still didn't walk through him. He still didn't actually f like finish Khan how he wanted to. Do you know what I'm saying? And Khan did touch him a few times as well. I know Khan took the easy way out, took a low blow to the balls, and fucking quit basically, whatever you want to call that. It was like quitting, but it's a little bit com more complicated. It's not as easy. As, it's not as easy as like quitting. It's not as black and white as that. It's a bit more grey. But they played on that. Do you know what I mean? But he didn't actually make him quit, legit quit. Like, like Errol Spence made Kilbrook quit on taking knee and it's like, don't want to take no more punishment. But Kilbrook again was injured, man, so fucking hell. Now, so I've had my ups and downs. It's like a roller coaster with this prediction. And I'm sorry if I'm just dragging on and not giving it yet, but 
this is me in it this is my channel this is how i do it if you don't like it you know what you can do in it safe so it's an up and down situation and i think Kilbrook should be the favorite in this fight i think he should be the favorite and if i think he should be the favorite then I think he should win, right? But I don't. I don't know. Just over the years, everybody's opinion has been similar to mine. Most people's opinion has been similar to mine, which is, Brooke does Khan. But you can never sleep on Khan. Khan's never just fucking laid down for anybody, like I said. Like, he's, like, Maidana. He gave Maidana a fucking life and death fight. Gave him some work. Khan can hit hard. He's like, He's, he's not scared to let his hands go. He um, He's quick, he's quick with his feet. He's, he's sli slidey, like, he's slippery in there. He's not that easy to hit when he's... Yeah, he's easy to hit when he's exchanging, mainly. But when he's running around on his feet, you've seen Canelo, he was struggling to hit him, right? He was making Canelo work. I think it was like round six when he finally got him, right? But for the, if you watch the first six rounds, Khan's footwork is very nice, very nice, very slick. He was doing a lot of good shit, getting away from a lot of good shots. And made Canelo look silly at times, right? He did. You've got to admit it. Khan, I think, out of the British fighters, Khan's probably one of the best who did, who did the best. <laughs> Imagine that. Khan's the one that actually won real clear rounds. But I think because Khan got knocked out in round six and the fact that Callum Smith went 12 rounds, do you know what I mean, with you can say that Callum Smith maybe did better. But Billy Joe Saunders did good as well. But I mean, Khan's a welterweight. Chinny fucking welterweight he was in there with Canelo. Billy Joe Saunders is a fucking super... He's a middleweight, natural middleweight. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, Khan's not even a natural welterweight. Natural welterweight. He's a fucking 140 pounder. And a chinny one at that. That guy was fucking brave, man. I'll give it to him, man. But then again, for that money, I would have done it. So, you know, it's not how brave are these fucking fighters, really. They are brave, but if it wasn't a Czech man, would he, would he run away in the street? I've heard Khan running in the streets, fam. I heard he ran away and left his car once in the street. But let's get back onto my prediction, man. Fuck it now. I smoke too much weed and I get sidetracked. And that's why I don't like talking in my, in my videos, man. I just like to drop highlight videos, really. But I like to drop my talking videos as well just because it's actual real content do you know what I mean it's legit content it's not like I've taken it off somebody's I've taken video and then I'm getting music and all that shit it's actual what's it called content it's actual original content I'm gonna go with fucking Brooke I'm gonna go with Brooke should I go with Carl man this is fucking hard, man. I'm me actually deciding on the spot. It's literally, who are you, man? Got? Let me in the fucking. Let me know in the fucking comment section, fam. Let me know in the comment section who you got, and I need to know who people are actually picking in this fight because that's another thing I've not done. A lot of times I watch like you know the Mayweather channel, and uh, they they'll do go around the gym and asking a lot of the pro fighters and a lot of the fucking trainers who. They think they're going to win the fight. Predictions, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm on about. The boxing fans know what I'm on about. So, and when they, they give you a good perspective, because there was always like a majority, there's never hardly like 50-50. The only, per, only time it was like 50-50, I think, is when Canelo and GGG fought. A lot of people was like picking both ways, you know what I mean? And that's just, I'm not just saying just in the Mayweather gym, I'm just saying in general, you know what it's like. You just go and watch everyone's predictions. Go and watch fucking Love One Hate One's predictions. Go watch Q City's predictions. Go watch um, Blood Sports, his predictions. What's his name? Hatman Strikes Back. Go check his. I, I need to watch. Who's Hatman picking for this fight? That's what I want to know, actually. Who the fuck's Hatman picking for this fight? I'm just ranting, man. If you don't like it, man, like I said, you might can do one, innit? You might can do one, fam. I don't care, fam. Like, I don't get paid for this shit. I do this because I'm a boxing fan. 
Like, and if you're not going to talk back, then like, fucking, fuck you, innit? If you're not going to be on it. Yo, what's this new track that's dropped? But yeah, Hatman's not really dropped a prediction, I don't think. Who dropped prediction videos on this fucking fight? Who you, man, picking, man? Seriously. I don't know who to pick for this fight, fam. I don't have a fucking clue. Because I'm a constant fresher fighter, but Brook is the better fighter. Yeah. But Khan's having a good training camp. He's training with Ter Terence Crawford, fam, as well. And they've been gassing his head up. I watched, that's what I have watched. I watched Amir Khan's like, last few interviews. And that shit was funny. <laughs> he always repeats the same shit, you know. Um, oh, yeah, I've been training, I've been sparring with, um, I've been sparring with uh, Terence Crawford. And trust me, it's nothing like in a real fight. I'm actually, like, doing really good in that. Thinking, like, uh, uh, um, <laughs> he's actually, like, going to, Thinks that he could probably still... That's what I'm saying. He's got so much belief in himself. He thinks that he actually still can beat Terence Crawford or some shit. Do you know what I mean? He's like, I'm actually doing real good with Terence Crawford in sparring. And even he came and told me that, oh, you're doing good, champ, and that. And then the trainer came, Boomak came and told me, oh, yeah, champ, you're looking good. Uh, Terence Crawford come and told me, you're looking good, you're looking good in training. <laughs> so that shit made me laugh. And he always repeats that. And you can tell, like, he's just... He actually means it. He's actually genuine about it. He believes that shit. It's just like, you can tell it's just the trainer gassing him up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> because in the actual fight with Terrence Crawford, Bowmack was like, that speed ain't shit, he ain't, he ain't fast anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you can remember, Bowmack was ripping Amir Khan before the fight. He's like, oh, he ain't fast anymore. He's not even, uh, he lost all that shit, <laughs> that idiot pad of shit or some shit. But n we don't know what... Um, I doubt Bomac's going to be able to make big changes in Amir Khan. Do you get me? Like, Amir Khan's always going to be off balance and fucking throwing punches and taking his eye off the ball because, like, if, like, he, he gets hit with shots, you know what I mean? He, he's not, he's, he's, he takes his eye, he's not a good defensive fighter. You don't get, you don't see a lot of shots. Sometimes you don't see shots, you get me? A lot of important shots he should see. He doesn't see them sometimes. So, if you don't see them, like, you can't teach somebody to see something, like, they just don't see, do you know what I mean? Like, they're just always going to be looking at that certain place at certain times. It's just like, boxing, like, I've done it, do you know what I mean? And, like, a lot of times it's just like, it's just like a repeat, it's just like a repeat cycle. Especially when you don't set up, when you're not setting up shots and thinking in there and, because I'm kind of not really a thinker who sets up shots. He's like a, He's not really a counter-puncher to say. He's more of a lead, what you call it. He leads, isn't it? He's a leader. He'll just go throw first and get out of there. He'll try and throw as quickly as possible, hit you a few shots and get out of there before you can counter, right? So, oh, I don't even know what I was talking about. Just, my mind's fucking gone, if I'm honest there. I'm just not in the mood, but I just wanted to drop a video. What I really should be doing is just deleting this and just... Sorting my shit out, having something to eat, chilling out for a bit, and then dropping a video properly. And talk about this all because, I sh and maybe take some notes down about what to talk about because I'm all over the place. I know, I know, but I'm here. You get me? This is content. Maybe some people like it. I doubt it. But <laughs> I doubt it. But where's all the man them at though? Where's fucking um, Die Hard Casual that from? I ain't seen it for a time. Not seen that. Let's have a bang some tune, Mitch. Oh my days. How are you going to drop an advert on me like that? When I'm making my video. You man never fucking give me adverts. You get me? And dropping adverts in my videos. You fucking mad. Are you fucking mad, bro. Don't get me fucking mad. Fuck it, man, listen. I don't know. I think I want to go for Amir Khan, you know. I think I want to pick Amir Khan. Just because he just looks... He just believes it so much. You know, he conf he's so convincing. You know, when he's do it, you listen to him talk, he's so convincing. He believes that he's going to win so much. And I believe that he wouldn't have took this fight unless he knew there's a good chance that Kell Brook is like, not going to win. He can beat him, do you know what I mean? 
and he's got Bomak in there, like I said. I don't know how much Bomak's been doing with him, but I'm sure he's doing some good improvements. I'm pretty sure his conditioning, conditioning will be on point, right? He will be fit as a fiddle in that fight. That's one point, I know for a fact. He's going to get him on point physically. And the more physically he is in that, the more physically well he is in that ring, the better he's going to take shots. And sometimes... Kell Brook's power is overrated, right? He wasn't, he didn't really, I was expecting him to fucking hurt Spence a lot more with his shots. He didn't hurt Spence as much as I expected. He didn't have as much pop in his shots. He had, it felt like he had a lot more pop in his shots against Triple G, but even Triple G just walks through him eventually. Um, who else? There was another fight where I, I, I thought, Kelbrook lacked, it's a quite a lot of fight. All these fights, I see Kelbrook lacks a touch of power. If he had just a little bit more snap in his power, a little bit more power in his part shot, he'd be like a real power punch, power, uh, pun, uh, what he'd be called, let me spit it out, man. He'll be a puncher boxer. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I class him as like a boxer, right? He's just a boxer, a good, good timing, good job, good one, two, decent power, okay defense, not great. And 